Hello everyone, sorry for the glare um, from outside. I am making my biggest batch that I've ever made. Um, on my other video I show you how I made this big long mold. I brought a few pieces from Home Depot. I can't even get the whole mold in the video. There you go. I brought a few pieces from Home Depot, glued it together. Asked them to give me a middle piece since this is my first time making this big batch. I really don't know how much soap it's going to take. So I'll figure that out as it goes. I just melted all my oils, which is 144 ounces. It's big for me, small for others. In a crock pot, I'm going to pour it in here, run outside, mix the lye, and then we'll get to soaping. So I'll be right back. When I make my soaps, I like to add two tablespoons of sugar to every batch. So this is a triple batch. Yeah. So I'll be adding six tablespoons. This gives us soap, lots of lather. I'm sorry, lots of bubbles. And it's gonna heat it up to cook faster too. Sorry, my glove, my. My um, mask is causing me not to talk properly. Properly. So the sugar causes lots of bubbles, gives the bar lots and lots of bubbles, and it's gonna help create heat in a batch to cook faster. This volcano much faster than I thought it would. Well, of course, the sugar gives it heat. So I should have expected that. First time working on working with a stainless stock pot. I've been using my crock pot, which is the biggest one that I have, and it gives me 96 ounces of soap, which is two batches, and my soaps are selling quickly. So to be more efficient, I got something bigger, and this is my first time using it. So far, so good, but we'll really know when the soap is done. Too bad it doesn't have a see-through top where I could see what's going on, but I can already see that it's volcanoing again.
I definitely am going to need a longer whisk. This is perfect for this batch, but if I do anything bigger, I'll need a bigger whisk. And most likely it will volcano again. Let's see. Okay, everybody, I hope there's not too much of a glare from the sun outside. I'm trying to position this in a way where it's easier to see. So, this is countertop high temperature hot process soap. One, I'm not using any type of electro electrical outlet to warm the stock pot. So that's why it's called countertop. Two, I used high temperature lye and water, I'm sorry, high temperature oils. So my oils were 200 and the lye was 186. It should be 10, 10 degrees um, difference or less, no more than 10 degrees difference. So this is my first time using a stock pot and this is my first time that I'm using a mold that is this big that I made myself. Let's see if you can see it. I'm trying to keep everything together here but it's really long and I don't know how much soap it's going to hold so I had the guy cut up little dividers so I can use to separate the soap if I need to or actually put an end to the soap. And the way I made my mold is I brought three pieces. I glued it together with Gorilla Glue. Hopefully that will keep together. We'll see. And then I left one end open and I closed the other end. And I actually have a video showing you how I made my mold. I was using before Essential Depot molds, but they're so small and it required so much extra time to do smaller batches for the molds. So I decided to try to make my own and I didn't want to spend $50, $60 to order a big one online. So I made my own and we'll see how it works out. Hopefully it works out really, really well so that you can make your own also. My only thing is I don't like the fact that I got it so thin. So definitely this is not a good mold that's going to last forever. But since I made it myself, I can just buy thicker pieces and make another one. So my mold size is, um, let's see here. I have this all covered up so I can't see what the sizes are, but I'll definitely give you that information. I know the length is 36 inches and I can't remember what the width is. So when I have a chance, I'll go to my room and get the other one that I made because I actually made two. And all of this cost me less than $20 to buy everything, the glue, the molds. So less than $20, I have two very big molds. And I'm so excited and I can't wait to see how many bars of soap it's going to give me. My Essential Depot molds only gave me nine bars because of the cutter that I ordered. I ordered Bob Bob's Cutter three years ago and that's before I really understood everything about soaping. So, my bars come out to 1.2 in, 1 inches big, so they're really thick. They come to about 6 ounces, sometimes 7. And I still cut them that big. Sometimes I'll even, if it comes out to 8 ounces, I'll cut it in half and sell it as a 4 ounce bar. But I love my cutter. 
gives me different shape bars like my bars are long rectangle versus um, square or block so with this cutter since it's I mean not cutter since this mold is shaped differently I really truly know what size my bars will be going forward and what shape I'll give them if I'll keep it as one or if I'll cut one into two. So this is what I bought at Home Depot. 2.5 by 3.5 by 36 inch. So the length is 36 inches. The width is 2.5 if I believe correctly. And the height is 3.5. I'm sorry, that says 0.25. That's the size of this. The 0.25 is the thickness. The point, the 3.5 is the width, which will be width, height, height, because you're going to buy three. So one for the bottom, one for the right side, one for the left side. So that gives the, the each side 3.5 and the length is 36. So again, the thickness is 0.25. If you can get it thicker, please do because I know I'll have to redo this in a few months, especially if you have to bang the, the mold to get the air out of the, the soap. So get a bigger thickness, but for right now, what I have is 0.25 thickness, 3.5 width and 36 inches length and that's how I made my mold so let's get back over here and see what's going on with this soap here Ooh, it's starting to have a Vaseline sage you can see some Vaseline and some is not and it's so liquidy that is awesome so this batch consists of olive oil. Oh my gosh, talking about it being fluid. Look at this. This is amazing. Can you see how fluid this is? This is the first time this is happening to me, to be so fluid. So this batch is olive oil at 60%. Um, what else do I have in here? Coconut oil at 22% and palm oil at 18%. I will be making some batches without palm, but some of my batches do have palm in them. And the palm is sustainable. I buy it from Essential Depot. And the person that they're connected with has had their land for many years and never had any issues with... Um, Um, obtaining the palm oil in an unsustainable way. Guys, we have soap here. This is awesome. So I'm going to do a zap test. And my soap still has a little zap. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cook a little bit longer. And check it in a few. The temperature is at 200 degrees. So let me cover it up and let it cook a little bit longer. So far, I'm very pleased of how this soap is turning out. Really, really excited. My super fat is ready to go. I have shea butter, neem oil, vegetable glycerin. Glycerin, I always say it wrong. And that's it. Those are the three super fats I have in here. I'm trying to keep it more simple before I used to put a lot more things in my super fat. Since this is a facial bar, I took out the coconut oil and the cocoa butter because both of them have a high level of. Um, homogenic if I'm saying it correctly okay guys let's test this out one more time it's still very fluid
Well, as you can tell, it's still very fluid. I'm going to go ahead and add my super fat. Let me test this. Oh, it's hot. So let's see if the shea butter makes the spatch a little thicker. Because right now it's extremely fluid. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Especially I was not going for a fluid batch. But it may be because I added more olive oil to my batch. If I were to play with colors or add different colors to my batch, this would definitely be a nice batch to add a variety of colors to. Since it's so fluid, as you can see. I took my three oils, my palm, my olive, and my coconut oil. I did three batches, three batches of 144 oils in another stock pot. I'm going to blend it together and keep this covered so that the next two, three days I can make three more big batches of soap. But at least my oils are already measured out all together in this pot. I'll just pour 144 ounces of oils into the crock pot or into the other stock pot, warm it up, and make my batches quicker. The only thing that I didn't master batch yet is my super fats. And I'll be doing that probably tomorrow because some batches have more super fats than others. So I'll actually just measure those out and put them in little containers and have them ready. So that when it comes time to make soap, it's one, two, three. Okay guys, five minutes is up. I left my super fat in there for five minutes. Blended it up very well. As you can see, my batch is still very fluid. I'm sure if I had the coconut oil and the cocoa butter and the super fat, it would have made it much thicker, but this is a very, very fluid batch. Kind of wish I had some colors to play with. I have colors to play with. I'm just not going to add another soap to my line. Right now I have seven. And I love the ones I have already. So, I'm going to pour in my sodium lactate. I've heard that that causes your batch to get thicker, so let's see if that's true. No oil left behind. Still oily. I mean, still fluid. Let's see what temperature we're at right now. 187. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit more so that I can add my essential oil. Okay, we're finally at, oh goodness, you get to some parts of the soap, it's 180, some parts are 167. Yes, I just need to mix it up often because it's so deep, but still fluid. Yay! That's the best part. 
when I make my blessed bar with activated charcoal and sandalwood chips, it's really going to look nice with this type of fluid. Okay, let's see. Time to wrap this up. Okay, 176. So, I have my essential oils with the turmeric in it. Okay, time to mold. Actually, let me do it this way. Sorry for the banging. So far, so good. So I don't know if you could see, I'm moving my divider little by little. So I do not spread the soap out too much. to work a little bit faster because it's getting thicker. And of course, it being so big, it's harder to get it down. This is amazing, if you could see inside. I don't think you guys understand how excited I am to be making a batch this big. It's amazing. Whoops. 
some of my soap fell. It's okay. That will be for my house. Okay, so this pretty much took the whole mold. I don't know if you can see, I put a potato at the end. Where are we? Where's the end? Here. Let's try to bring it so you can see. I put a potato here to hold the divider up. Gonna add the rest of the soap. So honestly, I have this much left of my mold, this much. So I got to figure out how I can finish up this whole batch. This is amazing, guys. And I used uh, freezer paper to to cover the mold. This is awesome. So, hopefully you can see, move this out the way, this is there's still part of the mold missing, but this is you can see my hand still kind of sticking out, but this is how much soap I have out of this mold that I made myself. Let me go get the other ones that the other ones so you can see. So actually, for now on, I can really start soaping in bigger batches, and it'll be much quicker for me. Okay, everybody. So here's my second one that I made, just for you to really get a true picture of my mold. I am standing up. I am five feet eleven, or ten and a half. So the mold comes up to my. A little bit below my waist when it's standing up. As I stated, I leave the top open, and that's because I want to be able to slide the loaf out when it's dry, when it's ready to cut. But here are the three sides that I was talking about that are 20.25 inch thick, 3.5 inches width. I brought three of these, so one, two three. I glue them together with, um, where's the glue? Gorilla wood glue. And honestly, this is my first batch that I made. You can see the soap in it, sitting in it. And I was able to tap it down. I probably should tap it down a little bit more. Forgot to do that at the end. But honestly, my soaps are so rustic, I'm okay with the holes in it. And so are my clients. So here is the whole mold. And the other side, I have it glued. And again, I had them cut this piece, this small piece, and I had them give me six of them actually because I thought I was going to close the other side. 
but one for one side, one for the other side if you decide to close it, and one smaller to separate your soaps if need be. So like this small, this soap did not take up the whole batch, so I separated it. If your mold takes up the, if your batch takes up the whole mold, then you're good to go. Okay, so make your own mold. Good morning, everyone. It's Save 7 o'clock in the morning, and I did not have the patience to wait to see how this is going to turn out, so I'm going to unmold it and cut it now. So this will be part of two videos. It, this will be part of the video of showing how I completed my mold and how I was able to use it for soap. And it's going to be part of the turmeric video to show how my turmeric soap came out. So here it is. This is how much I have left from the mold. So I am definitely going to add some more oils to the next batch so it can fill up the whole mold. Again, I made it with the end piece open. So let's see how we can unmold this easily. So if yours is closed on both sides, you can pick up your soap like this. Or, as I originally had in mind, because I thought it would be hard to pick it up, so you can pull it out. So actually, in less than... 24 hours, you can take it out. If you need to completely let it dry some more, you can. If you feel it's not hard enough, although mine's feel hard. This is the mold. So, when it comes to a cutter, when you buy a cutter for a small mold, it's amazing because you can just put your mold within this length and close it. I did not know about cutting bigger loaves at the time I brought this mold. So this loaf, this cutter is closed on the side. If you notice, there are some cutters that are open on the side. I suggest to get one that is open on the side. So when you have a big loaf like this, it's easier to cut. So let's see how I'm going to work this out here. Actually, let me go get one of my smaller loaves and actually kind of measure it out from there. Okay, so I'm going to use my Essential Deeper Mold to kind of guide me on how I need to cut this. you can see let me move this over a little bit so I have an end piece which is perfect because 
The wrinkles from the paper transferred to the soap. Definitely don't want to sell this. Oh, look at the different colors inside. You can see the darker turmeric and the lighter turmeric. It's pretty. Okay, so let's see how much this measures. Eight ounce bars, that's perfect. Because what I'll do, I'll cut it in half and make it four ounces. This mold gave me 23 bars. If I fill up the whole mold, I know it'll be able to give me 26 bars at least. So here you have it. Make your own mold. Make two of them for less than $20. It'll give you 24 to 26 pieces. If you have a one inch cutter, it'll give you a lot more. My cutter is 1.25. So what I'll do, once the soap dries a little bit, I'm actually going to cut them in half because right now they're weighing at 8 ounces and I sell them at 4 ounces. So I'll turn around and get the cutter. Let me just show you real quick so you see what it's going to be like. So to cut it in the size that I want it to be, I have this already measured out. So the bars come out like this. Perfect for your hands. And it's the perfect size. So here you have it. My turmeric facial bar using my biggest mold, making my biggest batch. And I am a happy camper. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to more videos and tutorials. Have a great day.